Welcome everyone. This is episode one of No Man's Land season three. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, with $5,000 in the bank. That's all we got. And we have this pickup truck just for a little bit of transportation. That is all we have. And this pickup truck, by the way, is worth what? 780 bucks. So not really worth anything because it has 2,346.4 hours on it. So tons of hours on it. We have nothing else. We do thankfully own this one plot of land here, field 26 or plot 26. We, however, past that, there's no contracts on this map because it's no man's land. Uh, past that, we, we do have seasons on. Seasons are on. We owe the bank $100,000. So we owe the bank $100,000. That's where we're at. Oh, we have 5,000 bank, owe the bank $100,000. And if we go, uh, if we go into our settings here, um, down here to show you where we're at. Uh, we are going to play art economy mode. Seasonal growth is on. Two day months. Snow is on. Crop destruction. Periodic pong. Field stone. Lime. And weeds are all on. Uh, dirt is normal. Fuel usage is on high. Trailer fill limit. We'll actually, trailer still be filled to the max. A lot of weight is reached. We'll have that on. I think that'll be good to have that on. Um, keep the brake held and the brake on. Make sure stop and go braking. We want that on actually because an automatic can just start on. So yeah, that's how I want everything. Let me save that. Helpers buy stuff that is all turned off. All to off on there. Um, let's start this baby up and go take a look at our farm. And actually, you know what? While we're at the store, because I know we're going to want to get one. I know I don't have to actually do it from here, but I'm just going to do it for the sake of things. Um, this will be a partially a role play series. So um, there'll be some role play aspects to this, but we're going to go ahead and pick ourselves up while we're here. Because I'm guessing we're going to need it. Um, now, I've heard from people that we can sell... Where am I at here? What am I doing? I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Uh, chainsaws. Well, it doesn't matter what brand. I always go with one of the... I don't know. I've never used one of these, so we'll do that. Uh, okay. So we have a chainsaw. Because our main source of income to start is probably going to be... Stop, go on. Yep, it is. Okay. It's probably going to be from forestry. And I'm assuming that I can sell logs here. I've heard you can... Uh, if it does not work, what we're going to do as far as a role play aspect of this is role play that there's probably going to be a, a biomass heating plant somewhere on the map where we can sell logs to. Because we need to have a place to sell logs. Um, there's no way with $4,000 or even $5,000 in the bank if we hadn't bought our chainsaw that we're going to be able to lease all the equipment we would need to do a harvest and actually make any money. Um, so we can't take out any more loans. We are stuck with what we got. That's what I'm going to say. Our max loan amount... Um, is we can't take anything else out. And even if we pay part of the 100,000 off, I'm gonna say for lease now, I could change the stuff in the future, but my goal is to make this as hard as possible. And here's our land, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, no buildings on, actually I did want the buildings on there. So I might, uh, I did wanna have the buildings on there when I played the game. So I am actually gonna change that here real quick for us. Um, so I'm gonna reset the whole game here um, and we're gonna go from there. So you guys will see me right here in just a moment. All right, there, it's like nothing happened. <laughs> there we are. So our farm, what? Oh, I don't want that. Let's get that fixed, darn it. All the stuff should be, there we go, automatic should be off. All the stuff should be set appropriately um, as far as everything goes. So everything should be set up just the way it needs to be. We'll save that last setting. Cause I want the trucks to say run it in, but. So we have our workshop here. Repair stuff as needed. We have a silo. We have a water point. We have a little bale shed or shed over there. We've got an equipment shed over here. A very tainted field, and uh, we're probably not even gonna be able to plant anything this year. Well, it's I guess it's August, so we have some time to make some money before it's time to plant. But we got what in the world? No game cartridges available. I'm assuming I have to go find those. There are some collectibles on this map. We might take a look at those later on. But yeah, so this is where we're at. It does have lights? Beautiful. Very worn out bed there that we're gonna pipe. Probably sleep out here on the couch in better shape. Not really. It's a very sketchy place. Uh, if we need to use the restroom, we can come out here. We have a facility. That's good. Fences all around. But yeah, this is where we're at. We own, again, this area right here. So we have trees. This is our, our plot line here. So um, we have trees through here, through here, through here. Now, ideally, we want to make some fields and stuff. So we want to... Do some of that. Now, I'm going to go into flight mode probably every episode at the end of the episode and fly over what we got going on. So, 
Yeah, so as far as this goes, the, I know the field edge is right, it's right on the edge of our property. Oh, gosh. I think what we'll probably end up doing is just chopping down... I mean, it's tough to make a decision here. We'll probably start chopping some of these trees down, and then, again, I mean, we don't have that much to work with here, so hopefully we can make a decent chunk of change off of our uh, trees. Otherwise, we're going to be in a little bit of trouble. We're going to need to start doing something quick to start getting some money up and rolling through here. Um, this field could be... Honestly, this field really... Yeah, I don't know. It's hard. We can't hire any workers right now. Um, we'll go ahead and fall to earth here real quick. We can't hire any workers right now because uh, there's no one else that lives around here. So eventually we'll be able to hire workers, but right now it's just not a possibility. So, yeah. Well, what I don't like is these little trees right here. So I actually think we're going to start with chopping these little trees here. Now, I, I do have the Lumberjack mod installed so we can get rid of our stumps, which I will do. I don't have an issue with that. I don't think that's cheating in any way. Um, I think that's, oh, geez, Louise, I can't uh, operate the controls, but I can't remember how to use any of it anymore. I should be able to get rid of the stump. Maybe not. Let's see if I can get some of this. I haven't done a ton of forestry in FS22, uh, so some of it might take a little bit of getting used to. Can I grab that? Good, good, good. Now, we want it to be longer is better because you get a little bit more cash for it. So we'll see if that sits on there. Yeah, we'll put that on there like that. Now, where's that stump at? Can't even find it now. What in the world? I'm having all sorts of issues already right off the bat. Just a great start to everything. Well, anyhow, <laughs> let's drop in our tree down. Gosh, you're getting stuck in these. It's not even a tree right there. Here we go. Drop this guy down. There's to get rid of it, I think. I think that gets rid of it. We don't want to do that. So we'll... There we go. There's the ability to get rid of the... I had it for a second there. Stump. There it is. So I wonder if that other stump is just gone. Like it just doesn't exist to the world. I can't lift this, I'm assuming. Yeah, I cannot lift that one. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want... Why does it toggle? <sighs> the super strength is broken. <laughs> oh, I remember I had that issue before where it would uh, it would somehow allow you to do stuff without... Yeah, You should be able to... Nope, I don't want to throw it. Which toggles it off? I'm having all sorts of issues today. I might actually get rid of the uh, Lumberjack mod if it causes us that kind of issues. I'm not, I'm not really liking that, that it's doing that for us, allowing us to pick up stuff that's too heavy. So I don't think that that makes it better for the challenge aspect of things. Oh, hey, there's a stump. There's the stump. Can we get rid of it? Nope, guess not. Okay. okay there we go. Yeah, this one's fine to pick up. See if we can get this put on the back here. We can get rid of that help menu now. I don't think it's going to help us at all. I'd like you to sit down a little flatter. Is that too much to ask? Yep, sure is. All right, well. All right, it is what it is, you know? What are you going to do? You can't fix everything, so. Um, as far as episode length, I would probably say the 30-minute mark is probably a good uh, goal-ish in that area. Maybe, yeah, I'd say 25 to 30 is probably a good goal. Where's the other half of our log here? Somewhere. Allegedly. I'm having all sorts of struggles with this. I'm losing stuff left and right in these woods. All right, well, let's chop down another one. Hope that one's not very heavy either. <laughs> oh boy. If I get rid of that uh, stump. You see, I just get so lost in these. Uh... Oh gosh. There's just so much stuff going on. All right, we'll, we'll chop another one down here real quick. There we go. I mean, we can always find the stumps later. It's not that big a deal. Eventually, we'll probably end up getting a mower and do some silage work and stuff like that uh, to hopefully make some, some money that way. But for now, this is what we got going on. Get these guys delimbed. I've noticed the delimbing doesn't... What in the... I'm having all sorts of. I think the. I think I need to probably pull the lumberjack mod out of here. Uh, I think it's just causing. I think it probably needs an update or something. 
If I chop a little bit more of that off there, it's not going to get us anything. Be a little bit easier to transport. Maybe not. We might have to chop. We're probably going to chop this one again. Yeah, that one's too long. I'll have to chop that one again here. Well, so far not a fan of the lumberjack mod because I haven't had any. I've done. I've done enough cutting of trees to know that I haven't had these issues until I installed that mod. But that's okay. Probably just needs an update, just like everything else, it seems. Nope, get that one. What about that middle one? There we go. Okay, let's get this guy stacked on there. What in the world? It just won't work sometimes. Anyhow. There. See, yeah, I just I just have to reset it for whatever reason. I actually probably should load this guy this way because the thicker ends on this side. This isn't going to be a uh, secure or a uh, very well loaded. Oh gosh, I want that to actually sit down. Oh, whatever. It's stuck that way now. Oh man, alive. Well, since everything's off to such a good start, hopefully you guys are doing well. But yeah, this is uh, this is how we're gonna do it. There will be uh, we will add in some subscriber businesses and such like that. I'm not gonna do the housing that I did uh, in FS19 as far as on No Man's Land goes. Um, I'm not gonna do that because uh, I think that was a bit that was a bit uh, too much for me. So I'm gonna try to keep myself or my try to make it a little bit easier for me. Gosh, I really get irritated with this. It's just not turning. It's not activating. Ah! There we go. And I can't even get... That's not even coming off. If I chop it right there. Nope. Nothing. I'll get this one loaded up. Yes, yeah, so I think I'll pull the Lumberjack mod out probably. And then... Sticks on the ground. There's all, I love the detail on here. It's just amazing. It really is just amazing. There's the other, the other half of this bad boy. Yeah, that little... I'm not sure what to do about that. We can get you flipped around here. There we go. I don't know if the game even knows if that exists or not. There we go. That's a pretty good load. Oh, never mind. We got a, we got a few gaps in there. A couple of trees back here we can get, take down. Yeah, let's take down this guy. So I might end up having to, we might just have to say we have to get a stump grinder of some kind at some point to get rid of our stumps and work around them for now. That, that'll make it more difficult anyways, so I think that's probably not a bad thing. There we go. Another log here for us to load up. Look a little strange with that, that piece hanging out of there, but that's okay. You know, what are you going to do? <laughs> but yeah, the, the first episode is just going to be us getting in here, hopefully making our first little chunk of money here, getting some of the trees cleared out. Um, but let me know what you guys think down in the comments as you're watching this. Like, what should we start investing in? What should we do first on here to start making money with the farming side of things? Um, we can download whatever mods are needed. Um, if you do want me to download a mod, um, I would prefer it if you would... I mean, at a minimum, obviously, tell me what it is, but I prefer it if you gave me a link to it or a link to the website it's on or the Mod Hub website. Uh, just so I know exactly what you're talking about. It just makes my life a lot easier so I don't have to go hunt down the mods and try to find out what it is. Um, it does make my life uh, tremendously easier. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you guys want to open a business on here, let me know what it is. Um, I will start writing down, uh, making a list of what people want to open and stuff like that. Now, just know that I can't... Every single idea of what people want on here is not going to happen. And I want to have like a role play aspect to it. Like, what is the reason behind it? Um... And everything like that and i will start doing subscriber contracts on this uh gameplay at some point i would like them to be not just hey i need a hundred thousand liters of corn like i don't i don't want to do that i want to have it more be like there'd be more of a storyline to it like what do we got going on and stuff like that like just more to it than just i need this like why do you need it there we go uh so if that makes sense just more creativity and uh i will probably limit subscriber contracts to one per customer so make sure it's a really good one um I will, you won't know I'm taking on your subscriber contract until I mention it, um, as probably what's going to end up happening until I mention it. I will start, you can start commenting them, but I would probably prefer you wait a little bit. I'll start documenting them all, but again, you're not going to know it's going to happen until it's going to happen. So, yeah. 
Okay, without... Let's just go see if we can sell this. Um, otherwise, I'll, I'll put a break and we'll get like a biomass heating plant put in here or something. Let's go see how this first load goes. Uh, this just looks very peculiar, very strange. But uh, yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> Oh gosh, that's how it starts out. But yes, yeah, so that's kind of how the series is going to go. I don't want it to be, it's not going to be a full on roleplay series. Um, it'll be mostly me just doing my thing, trying to survive and trying to build up our farm. How would we already lose a bunch of money? Where's our money going? I don't know. I've always, I've always been baffled by that one. It's just like, I don't know where our money went, but it's gone. I don't know if it's maintenance or something or some odd thing. Maybe the chainsaw has maintenance and it just automatically repairs itself and just charges you for it. I don't know. Who knows what's going on? Gosh, this map is so beautiful. Assuming this one's not going to do it, but let's see if this one will do it. All right, now is there any, like... Is wood always has, like, an icon for... Pickup object. Nope, 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 nope. Is there any... Unfastened tension belt? No. Is there any, like, sell wood? And if I'm doing something wrong, let me know as well. Uh, down in the comments or for something missing like is there like something no triggers anywhere there's somewhere else you can sell wood nope there's not i don't think so uh, i might set us up our first business then which won't have an owner right now but someone can own it later on um and if you want to open a business too don't just say hey i want to open this business like what what's why do you want to open the business like tell me about it you know let me know why. Like, I want to have some creativity in it. I don't want it just to just be for fun. But, all right, guys, I will see you guys here in just a minute. I'm going to go ahead and fix this up business on here. All right. We now have this magical biomass heating plant right here, which will, well, hopefully buy our wood from us. So we should be able to take it here now. Oh, yeah, it's going to take it. So it's got the icon and everything. All right. Let's go ahead and get this sold off. Crossing our fingers, big money. Okay, not big money. <laughs> I also, uh, I did uh, uninstall the Lumberjack mod as well during that gap there, so. Yeah, well, we're gonna be in trouble for not making very much money off our wood, which is looking like that's what's gonna be happening, but that's okay. We gotta do what we gotta do to survive and make it by. Um, I will be very open to suggestions because again, we can only do so much with what we got So hopefully we can get enough to hopefully buy us like a small tractor. We do actually need to take a look at uh, Used equipment. I'm hoping we get a really small used tractor pop up on the market If not, we'll just lease what we can for now, but phew, It's gonna be rough. It is gonna be rough. So we'll deal with uh, We'll deal with uh, the uh, what should we call it later on uh, the stumps later on now, I don't want to do the same setup I had in FS19, so I'm going to hopefully do a little bit different stuff. I know I'm working on this farm, the same farm that we did before, but we're going to try to do it differently. I'm going to turn off the truck. We really can't afford to be burning, burning fuel. Uh, but yeah, so that's that's kind of what we got going on. But yeah, so let's take a look. Anything used right now? We can't, I mean... Mm, and we, do have some, we do have some mods installed and stuff like that. It's a great price for that. But uh, one thing I will probably end up getting when we start making our own fields will be... Oh, there he is right there. This guy right here for 17,000. Uh, of course, the subsolar 6M. Now, I mean, 15 grand. Is there a cheaper, even a cheaper option? 14 is the cheapest plow at 1.2 meters. But hopefully something will pop up used. But that's such an expensive plow. We'll probably end up leasing it, uh, getting our field set to go, and then returning it. That way we can save some money. Uh, but yeah, we don't we're gonna be in some trouble here at some point uh, if we're not careful But yeah, let's go ahead and get another load of logs done here yeah, Everything seems to be cooperating better. We'll see There we go. Oh, we should be able to do it this way too I know it's slightly more obnoxious to listen to doing it that way, but uh, It is what it is <laughs> Okay, so that first load was 1100 bucks. I'm hoping if we really pack them in here. Now, once we start doing some bigger trees, we'll start making a little more as well. We have been doing this little trees right now, so maybe we start doing some bigger trees as well. That'll get us a little bit more. Yeah, we got there's just a lot of little trees in here that we want to get out of the way and stuff like that, so. Oop, nope, don't do that. We don't want to cut you there. 
Hopefully get most of this chopped off of here. Beautiful. But yeah, let me know. Suggestions, anything you guys want to see. Um, just let me know. I'm all I'm all ears for this series. I'm all ears. Um, I'm going to have fun no matter what playing on this map. So as long as it doesn't become too much for me to manage, that's where I start to lose a little bit of my fun. <laughs> but I don't think we'll do that this time. I don't think it'll get as carried away. Now, given I even I enjoyed the uh, FS19 series one a ton, even though there was so much going on. But uh, yeah, here we go. Let's take out this tree. This thing's massive. Let's try not to land it on our truck. Yeah, this thing is huge. Can I stop crouching if I'm cutting? No, I'll still keep going. Okay, good. Gosh, that's such a big tree. This one should have some money in it for us. Hopefully. All goes well. Get all these garbage branches out of the way. This is such a big tree. It's so long. There's the end of it. Chop off the end. <laughs> Oh gosh, I don't think I mean we're gonna be how much does this thing weigh? 1.6 tons. Well, we'll see if we chop here. Can I lift that piece? How would that get it down to? I'm sure 431, so we gotta do that in half. Well that in half isn't quite gonna do it. This is gonna have to be in thirds, because what we can do 200 is the limit, I'm pretty sure. So we're gonna have to do this in thirds here. Now I don't think the bio I think the biomass he, I mean, we'll be able to see. I haven't done any testing with wood. I'm assuming, and some of you guys might be able to answer this down in the comments. I'm assuming that as far as everything goes, it matters for the like the length and the goodness of the wood and everything, or does it matter just the weight of it? Because, well, that all good. Oh, nice. We can move all these. Perfect. Uh, does it matter for just the quantity of it getting it down there? Because that'll kind of that'll kind of determine if we want to be super careful about how we chop everything and everything like that, but. This seems to be a good length. Um, we'll go a little bit longer each time because again, we'll still we'll still target thinking that what's that one? One ninety five. That was whew, that was we were pushing it a little bit there. Um, yeah, we'll go a little bit longer. Oop. I'm having the issue with my chainsaw again. Maybe it's just the brand I bought. I <laughs> just can't. I don't think that's it. Oh, that's one. Oh, that's much smaller now. So now we can really probably go a little bit longer. We'll probably go as long as the truck will hold. Yeah, we can get this little guy in there. How long is that? Not too long. Perfect. Yeah, these guys can be longer now. All right. This load I have a lot better feelings about. This will be a good one to determine, hey, how much should we get off of? Well, most of this money is going to come from this one tree. So how, would, how, much, how do we do on just one big tree? I mean, I know that this is a lot of time consuming work and stuff, and I will end up doing a lot of this off camera at the end of the day, or maybe we'll do a little bit of time lapse stuff too. I probably will not for the first episode, but in general, in the future, I will probably do uh, some time lapses, uh, maybe one an episode for a couple minutes, just to change it up a little bit, throw a little bit of music on and do some of that, just to just to change things up around and you know make it a little bit different. It just kind of adds a little bit of variety. I know people, some people hate time lapses and. Some people love them, so some people prefer that's all I did, and some people would prefer I never do a time lapse ever. But uh, if I can kind of meet in the middle and do occasional time lapses, then if you don't like them, just skip ahead. Um, you won't miss anything by skipping ahead, really. Gosh, that's such a large log. <laughs> oh man, alive! This isn't gonna go good. This is gonna be such a, such a load. I might take my thumbnail shot here in a second with this one. This might be a good thumbnail shot. Oh, uh, just with this whole tree on there careful oh boy and then put this guy just on the on the back if it'll stay put so much weight for this truck that back one's not on the i don't think that back one's on no it's not tied down that's not good we're gonna lose that one for all right we'll leave this one here we'll come back for that one but how is this gonna do for us we'll kind of have to see oh no <laughs> oh gosh well, so far we're not off to a great uh, start with uh, this. Oh boy. Let's see if I can get it back up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Nope, that's not good. Oh man. Well, tow truck is a while away. But I will say this, for the roleplay aspect of it, if I want to flip the car over, 
we're going to say, and this might be a little high, but we will do this just to tip it back over. We will take off a $500 tow fee. That's probably a bit much, actually, because I've never seen it. Well, I don't know. They have to drive out here in the middle of nowhere. We'll do 500 That's probably fair. And I just have to be careful so I don't keep um, messing up. So we'll just tip it back over. All right, there we go. And that's what the tow does. All right, there we go. We'll call it good there. Beautiful. Let's get a good shot without going too fast. Good shot right there. That'd be a good, that's a good one right there. All right. Now let me get, this is how I do my thumbnails, by the way, in case you guys were wondering. I won't do them all with you guys here, but we'll do this thumbnail right here. Look at that. That's a good, here we are. There's a deer in my barn even. That's, or my barn, yeah. Barn, vehicle, shed, shelter, something like that. But there's a deer in it. So um, that's pretty cool there. Uh, <laughs> oh, let me save that. There we go. Okay. Um, fantastic. Fantastic. Let's get this uh, sold off here. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping we actually do really well on this. Um, we're going to, we need to restrict our speed something fierce. Like I'm thinking like if we go 26, that might even be a little crazy, but if we, that's probably a little too much even, but if we keep having to tow our vehicle, it's going to cost us what we're making. I mean, we just paid half of our first lumber run. Given it was a bad lumber run, I'm hoping this is going to be, gosh, I'm hoping for two or 3,000 for this. I'm hoping. We'll have to see, though. Oh, gosh. We're just chugging away. Slow but sure, getting where we need to go here. Slow but sure. Oh, man. I can't believe I tipped that over. Well, I mean, I can believe it. I should refrain. I, I can believe it. All right, we'll go a little quicker. We'll just need to slow down for the turns. Yeah, we'll go a little quicker. All right, everything's okay. We just got to make sure we don't get too careful. I cannot afford to be towing this thing left and right. This thing's a fast track. So in the future reference, we know not to load it this much, maybe. Just to not have to worry about tipping it as much. Probably a smart idea. All right, okay, ease, ease into it. We're getting close to a turn here. Yeah, look how top that'd be at 18 miles an hour the thing just wants to roll oh boy <laughs> all right fingers crossed fingers crossed oh two grand i mean that's okay we'll take that that's it's not as good as i was hoping but that is something there that is something guys we have a long haul ahead of us because we got 100 grand in loans goodness and we can't just pay it off either we don't want to pay it off because we can't take a loan out again that's one of the rules i've set so we can't take a loan out again at least until we get a bank here that might be able to work with us and do something with a loan that's a wink wink business idea by the way someone might be able to open a bank now i'm not saying we need a bank right away i think the town needs to have a logical <laughs> logical improvement like a bank would not come to the middle of nowhere for a population of two people one that guy that owns the biomass plant and then us out here farming but Oh, anyhow, guys, I think that is a good start for episode one. I think that's where we're going to wrap it up for today. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. This is going to be a long, grueling series, but it's going to be a lot of fun. Obviously, I didn't do a lot of stuff off camera today, uh, but there'll be a lot more off camera stuff uh, to do in the future. I mean, when I was doing No Man's Land at season one, it took me probably eight to 12 hours to get an episode. But yeah, so anyhow, if you guys enjoyed, drop a like down below if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.